and say that this community was strongly uh, supportive of nuclear power. And this is not meant to be disrespectful. This is not Birkenstock Berkeley. This is not liberal Boston. This is Bible Belt, Pennsylvania. In fact, let me just back up. We never really questioned nuclear power. That decision was made for us in the 50s and 60s. We're going to go down this path. God, I feel like I'm in a Rob Reiner movie. My dad would drive me down to the plant, and we'd see these clouds billowing out, and he would assure me that they were benign. You know, I believe my dad. Uh, my dad believed the industry. I just thought this was a wonderful, magical technology that had come to rescue us. I mean, energy independence, security independence. We thought it could warm homes at a price too cheap to meter. Everybody bet the house on atomic energy. All of a sudden, all these things came into question on March 28, 1979. The Metropolitan Edison Company has informed us that there has been an incident at Three Mile Island, unit number two. The question was, why didn't we notify the people? Uh, the, the incident occurred uh, this morning around 4 o'clock. The safety systems functioned uh, as they should have. The accident began at 4 o'clock in the morning on March 28th, so it's a couple days till people get a handle on what's really happening. This entire situation seems bizarre, but it's real, and it's happening right now here in 1979. It's really happened. The information parsed out by the company is either inaccurate or purposely misleading. Everything is under control. There is and was no danger to public health and safety. You know, for the industry, one of the things that occurred is they couldn't believe that citizens had the audacity, the temerity to call into question their expertise. I don't know what. I don't know why we need to we need to, to tell you each and everything that, that, that we do. That's what I remember creeping me out. Just the smugness, the arrogance. And I'm here today to try and, and ease the level of panic and concern. I thought it was worse than what they were saying. Good evening. The world has never known a day quite like today. It faced the considerable uncertainties and dangers of the worst nuclear power plant accident of the atomic age. Within a couple days, it becomes clear that the, the, the community just lost trust in the government, lost trust in the company. It is now apparent that the nuclear accident that occurred on Wednesday morning was a lot more complicated and a lot more serious than the public was first led to believe. Plant officials say radioactive xenon gas is still being discharged into the atmosphere from the reactor. That will continue for several more days. But is the crisis over? Once again, the utility and federal experts are at odds. I personally think that the crisis is over, if you want to refer to it as that. I guess my own view is that the crisis won't be over until we have a core and a coal shutdown and mode. how can you say whether or not we were close to a car meltdown. They were struggling to come to terms with what happened three, four, and five years later, and the industry was in denial, so they never called it a meltdown. Two feet into the core, we're now approaching three feet. When we finally saw the footage, it was pretty clear that it was a full-on meltdown. We are approaching four feet. We're now five. That's something. That's something people never really covered at TMI. This very trusting community, they believed in nuclear power, they believed in the government, and they were betrayed. 